Welcome back to a special edition of Booze Briefs. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. And today, what makes it special, the bottles that we're going to review uh-huh. were gifted to us by one of our awesome subscribers and viewers, Roy. Thank you, Roy. Roy, you're a good man. What did Roy gift us with, Matt? Nine billion dollars. Damn, Roy. Good man. Nope, not oh. nine billion. He gave us two bottles of Benchmark that are not available in North Carolina. So we have okay. the Bonded. And we have the single barrel. Okay. Right? Because we, we, can get we tried here. the benchmark around here or on a video, God, months ago. Go check that out. And that's like $10 a bottle or something? Yeah. He said these were 20, mid-20s okay. for these two. Not, All right. Not total, but each, which is ridiculous that you can get a single barrel for mid tw- uh, mid-20s. mid mm-hmm. And that, you know, 20-ish, that's about a good going rate for a bottle and bond. And... They're Buffalo Trace products. Yeah. So I think nothing to it but to do it. All right. Let's crack them open because I haven't even opened these yet. Well, I... well I, I would like to point out that first. Okay. Look, look at the neck on them, right? Uh-huh. So look at the fill. The fill level on it. Shout out, shout out to your quality control. Yeah, for real. So um, I'll pour the bonded in the plain glass if you want to do the single briefs. barrel in the booze briefs glass. Yeah, that sounds good. So while we're pouring, go ahead and like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Open your door. Shout booze briefs for no good reason. We appreciate all of that. Run down the street. Yell it. That's yells. I think. Uh, which one is yours? Do you have all the little spots over yours? I had. Yes. Okay. I'll give this one back to you then. I put mine right there. All right, and that one is definitely yours. All right. So there's yours, sir. Much obliged. Where do you want to go first? Do we go bonded first and then single barrel? Uh, is there a difference in the ABVA? Uh, we've got on the bonded, obviously it's going to be 50% because it's bonded. 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 So this is probably lower, 95. F- yeah. And I believe you told me that the word on the street is that the single barrel are barrels that don't make the cut for Blant. this gentleman back here. And no one can confirm that, but it's it's pretty it's one of those conspiracy theories. Buffalo Trace won't even confirm their damn mash bills. No, no, no. You just have to guess. If you get it right, they'll go, "Ha, no, maybe, could." Yep. We don't really know. We're not gonna tell you. You know, you, you get it right because you get kicked in the shin. Ooh, steel right. toe boot. Right. Oh yeah, just oh, right, right on there. Shiza, that hurts. So, got some notes for the <laughs> single barrel as we move away from shin pain. <laughs> According to Buffalo Trace, only the best barrels are selected and bottled at 95 proof for this special Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. While every barrel is unique, each reflects the utmost standard for the finest taste and most smooth finish with every pour. That's a lot of words to not say a damn thing. And if you um, recall back to our Blanton's video, yeah. they basically said the same thing about Blanton's. Yeah. Yet another but, thing. But if, but if these are the best barrels... How are these the best barrels? Well, they didn't say those were the best barrels. They said the only the best barrels are made into uh, that's, it. So maybe that's, they're referring to Benchmark. Well, it said only a master distiller can determine the exact moment the whiskey has been aged to perfection and deemed worthy of the Blanton's label. So maybe they deem right. these not worthy. Tasting notes, a nose of toasted oak and baking spice leads to a complex palate with notes of caramel and citrus undertones. So we're going with the Buse Briefs glass first because that was yours. We're doing single bar, right? Yes. Got a good nose on it. Mm-hmm. So we did the benchmark, and that was, what, $11? I think you got it on sale for a nine ninety five. Yeah. So one gentleman on Reddit, Tacosaurus Rex, reviewed this benchmark single barrel and started off with, what in the tater fucking hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the internet is great. Yes. Ooh. Yes, queen. And that's a 20-ish dollar bottle? Yeah. How crazy is that? It was from New York. That is... I would expect it to be even more if it was New York. He said you can walk into a Kroger and pick it up at Kroger, which blows my freaking mind because we have... I mean, we don't have Kroger's around here anymore, but we have gas stations Mm and, you know, Harris Teeters all around us that we could pick it up at. That'd be ridiculous. 
Mm. I'm a. I. I. I uh, that's tasty. That's great. Mm-hmm. That is great. Shocked me. Yeah, the nose is is nice, caramel, vanilla, like just classic bourbon notes. But if you, I mean, if you really want, it's got some heat on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more than I would have guessed at ninety five proof. Yes. So I think now we go to the bonded, and we'll go back water and eat. Sure, do you want to do water first? What do no. you want to do? Let's uh, let's taste them both and eat, and then both with water. Noise. So this All right, one. so let's see what I can pull up about the bonded. Uh, let me guess the age on it, Matt. I'm going to guess four years. Oh, I'm going to guess. The, there's some rule about that. I'm going to guess the proof is right around 50. Mm, yeah, I bet but, it's exactly. And I think maybe it was like made in one distilling season. In one place. Yeah. In the same state. And, but and just if, if I had to guess. That's pretty much it. Huh. The Bottle and Bond Act of 1897 set strict standards for bonded whiskey. This 100-proof Kentucky Straight Bourbon whiskey aged four years to meet those standards. Huh. What? Enjoy, Are we that good? Enjoy the rich flavor and long, smooth finish. Uh, tasting notes, a nose of citrus and honey follows through on the palate with a touch of light oak, caramel, and bunny. Say, so before you said honey, that was... Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't know that I've gotten that strong of honey note no. in a bourbon. That smells like a honeycomb. Wow. And not that, who is it, wild turkey, American honey, that piss water. Sorry to ruin your experience there, Matt. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't. Now it just comes mm. down to which bottle comes home with me and which one stays with you. We will fight to the death. Mm. Better that than to the pain. Ooh. Um, that's Roy. good. Roy. My man. Hell yeah. Thank you, Roy. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. That's... That's tasty. Dude. That... And I am pleasantly surprised how different they are. Yes. I would have thought it would just be, like, a difference of... Heat. Yeah. I mean, a little bit of heat and maybe just a little bit of texture. I didn't think the flavors would be that different. No. And we... I don't think the texture is different in them. Oh, I think this ha- the Bonded has more body to it. You think so? Yeah. I, I don't science oh no <laughs> sorry to make you do that again but yeah that honey on there that's really cool hmm. mm-hmm. sorry to make you drink more bourbon i'm the opposite i right. get all right well let me let me go back and try the other i one. get more heat from the bonded, and that makes sense. I get more texture in the singer, the single, single over arrow. When you drink them back to back, it's amazing the difference in those two. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, the flavor on the single barrel it's more delicate, mm-hmm. a little bit lighter. By comparison, more floral, but I wouldn't say it's floral. No, I wouldn't say either one of those is floral. But just kind of trying to find ways to differentiate them. It's, I'd say, maybe a little more, like, light caramel, and that, bond that is, vanilla, is, than honey. Because it's, like, this is, like, a, a lighter, brighter sweetness. This is, like, a heavier, <sighs> richer sweetness. Ouch. You hurt in there? I got my shot, and it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Uh, I think this has got more punch. Yeah. It's more of a bla- uh, blasting flavor. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't know what that really... It's... It's got a bang to it, right? So I was watching a Food Network show this morning, and, and one guy, like, with a straight face, said he just loves a nut-covered meat. Well, Because the... they were doing pecan-crusted chicken. Okay, that's But he say, good. or, uh, yeah, he likes a nut, nut-covered and nut-crusted meat. And I was like, were you just trying to get your coworkers to crack up? Because yeah. they, all, they all didn't break. I'm like, <laughs> Nobody sir, broke. sir. Mm. All right, so I've added a little bit of water to each of these. I'm going to see what they do. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you had a wee bit in there. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Just showed a picture of some water. Mm. So the nose on the single barrel opened up a fair amount with some water. Yeah. The bonded stays about the same. Mm. I'm going to stick with the lighter one. That actually... I... 
somehow physics doesn't make sense, that gave it more texture putting the water in it. Hmm. On the single barrel? On the single barrel. Yeah, that is like... Whoa! Just blossomed in my mouth. <sighs> Shitty TV show. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I'm glad I didn't get that in. <laughs> Spawned it out of the nose would not be fun. Oh. Mm. Well, it's about time that you die on one of these episodes instead of just me. Oh, my. Ooh, my co-host wants me dead now. No, I, I watch your bourbons. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, they're already willed to someone. That'd be you. <laughs> That'd be you. Hmm. Score-wise? I think water actually made both of those chewier yeah better i think it'd make it better mm -hmm. all right matt i don't know how to give those scores in their price range because there's nothing that's going to touch those in their price range so we've had some other good 20 ish dollar bottles yeah Re related you see elijah craig small batch regular price is up to like 32 now really yeah i saw it on sale at our local abc store on sale this month for 27.95 well, so it used to be 26 26.99 regular the regular like sale was like 21 22 holy crap yeah so, yeah, I was going to say, we've done some other things that are in this price range. Yeah. Ancient Ancient Age, the JTS Brown, some of those things that people love. Yeah. Those crush, these crush those, I think. Yeah. I think um, right. And just the bonded itself, we, I don't, we haven't had another bonded that's that good. Maybe the E.H. The e Taylor. Well, that's, that's a different diff class. That's different. It's a different class. Yeah, because usually when I think bottle and bond, I'm thinking, like, what's something that's going to be good in the... 20-ish range. I picked up Evan Williams bottle and bond when I was in South Carolina. Yeah. And then, because I was like, oh man, you can't get this here. And I came home and you were like, yeah, it's on the shelf. I'm like, Son of a bitch. Yeah, I think they have like 40 at all <laughs> yeah. times. And they got handles here too. Yeah. The, the white label? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. There all they the didn't time. have that before I left. And then on Monday I come back and I'm like, well, you, shoot. Yeah, you, you big stupid. <laughs> yeah, shoot. All right. So, I mean, we got to give these scores, Matt. We, you've talked about science already today. And this is nothing if not a science project. So I'll start with a single barrel. If I compare this to single barrels excluded from price. Okay. Okay. So I would say that it's a it's a good 86, 87. Mm -hmm. It's not something that yeah. is going to absolutely knock your socks off. But if you're a beginner and you want to get a single barrel... Yeah. And you don't live in North Carolina, <laughs> this would be great, right? Hell yeah. And you're, you're not going to be disappointed with the price. You're not going to be disappointed no. with the flavor. The nose is great on it. And apparently it's readily available everywhere in the world except for our state. Mm hmm So if you're traveling, look for it, right? It's going to probably be on the bottom shelf, which still would blow my mind mm -hmm. to see a single barrel on the bottom shelf. So I'd give it a 86.87. Okay. I'm going to say in that 20 to, tw I'll go as high as 25 for it. Um, give me that an 88. Okay. Uh, yeah. Actually, the $20 range, I'll even go 89. Screw it. Show us that. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, my score would definitely be higher, but if I was just doing it against single barrels, I think that's where it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you, we've got, I mean, uh... Rare that's bird. not that's not single barrel. This old Forester single barrel. Uh, this is a single barrel. This one's single barrel. This one's single barrel. Uh, is this single barrel? No. Oh, that'd be too easy. It's got a cool bottle though. It does. Ah, uncorked. Ooh. <laughs> bonded. I think I'd give that an 89 mm -hmm. for the bondeds. In that price range and a bond, <clears throat> that's the best bottled and bond that we've had. Yeah. Yep. Excluding E.H. Taylor. Yes. And for that reason, I'll go 90 on it. I agree. So, yeah. Like Matt said, if you can find these in your state, get them. Pick them up. You're not going to be disappointed if you're an advanced drinker, experienced drinker, whatever you want to call it. But especially if you're a beginner. Because Matt was talking about, brought up a really good point, I think, of, sure, you can find this, but it may not be your speed. No. And you may have spent 60 or upwards of 100 plus on this bottle. And, and that's going to really piss you off if you're disappointed in it. And not know the nuances of... Blends. You're not going to be right. able to pick out the flavors that make this bottle. And I don't know that I can. No. And uh, is it worth the money? 
it's still kind of yeah. undetermined for me. I've got we've got other things on here that were more expensive that I think are worth the money. Mm-hmm. I'd buy them three times before I'd buy another plane list. Yeah, those I would just buy. I would keep oh, those yeah. on my shelf. Hell yes, all the time. Yep. Yeah, they're good. So seek them out, try them. <laughs> or something wonderful in your clang. in your glasses. Hey, and uh, come check out some other videos. We have some other ones coming up here that. We got one that is a total wild card that I may have gotten shystered on. And then we got one that's, uh, you know, the Willet that is super mixed reviews on that one. Oh, yeah. It's one side or the other, and neither of us have ever had it. So, that should be fun. Yay! <laughs> so, like and subscribe to make sure you can see that video when it goes live here. And until then, uh, enjoy something good. Cheers. Cheers.